You know I sure would like to write a blues, you know A nice long blues, you know A good feeling piece to my writing hand, you know You know my hand, they can bring two pieces of life together in your ear, you know You know one drop of blues turning a paper clip Into three wings and a bone into a revolt, you know You know a blues passing up the stereotype symbols, you know You know go into the dark meat of a crocodile And pinpoint the process, you know into a solo a hundred times Like the first line of Aretha Franklin, you know You know like Big Mama Thornton, you know I sure would like to write a blues, you know You know if I could write me a blues You know a blues that you all could feel at the same time on the same level like a Joe Louis punch, you know? You know a punch that could break a computer into an event like Guinea Bissau, you know? You know if I could write me a blues, you know a nice long blues, you know an up to the minute blues, you know? You know a smack dab in the middle of depression blues, you know? You know a blues without incidental music. You know, without spending time being incidental, you know, you know, if I could write a blues, you know, a blues without the popular use of the word love, you know, you know, without running love, 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 love in the ground, you know, a serious blues, you know, a significant blues, you know, an unsubmissive blues, you know, you know, a just because we exist blues, you know, a blues. You know a terrible blues about the terrible, terrible need I have to write the blues, you know? You know, if I could write a nice, long blues, you know, a nice, long blues, you know, it sure would feel good to my writing hand, you know? You know? You know? You know? you like the fifth ward in Houston, Texas. One roof of crushed oil drums on the other. Two black hunters in buckets of blood. Walking into the fire of Sharpville. Into the sweat and stink of gold mines. Into your children's eyes suffering from malnutrition while pellets of uranium are loaded onto boats headed for France, for Israel, for Japan, away from the river so full of scum, and Robben Island so swollen with 
with warriors and the townships that used to overflow with such apathy and dreams. And I think about the old Mau Mau grieving in beer halls and the corrupt black leaders singing into police whistles. And I think about the assembly line of dead Hottentots and the jugular veins of Allende. And once again, how the coffin is divided into dry ink. How the factory moves like a white cane, like a volley of bullets in the head of Lumumba. And death, death is a death life held together by shacks, by widows who cry with their nipples pulled out by men who shake with electrodes on the tongue. And so where to? When I hear your name and look at you on the reservation, a Sosa in the humid rickles of Shreveport, Louisiana, walking down Fannin Street into the bottom hole in the wall of endurance. I smell the odor of our lives together made of tar paper. The memories opening like stomachs in sawmills. The faces growing old in cigarette burns. And I think about the sacrifices made in Cape Town. The sisters being mauled by police dogs while the minister of justice rides the tall ship of torture down the Hudson River in New York. While vigilante under Zulu mask strike through the heartland like robots in military boots with hatchets made of apartheid lips. And Soweto! When I look at this ugliness and see once again how we're divided and forced into fighting each other over a funky job in the sewers of Johannesburg. Divided into labor camps, fighting over damaged meat and stale bread in Harlem. Divided into factions, fighting to keep from fighting the ferocious men who are shooting into the heads of our small children. When I look at this ugliness and think about the Native Americans pushed into the famine of tribal reserves, think about the concentration camps full of sad Palestinians and the slave quarters still existing in Miami, the diamond factories still operating in Amsterdam, the gold market still functioning on Wall Street, and the scar tissues around our necks swelling with tumors of dead leaves, our bodies exploding like whiskey bottles as the land shrinks into the bones of ancestor Bushmen. And I tell you, Soweto, when I see you stand up in the middle of all this, stand up to the exotic white races in their armored churches, stand up to these land stealers, infant killers, rapists, and rats, to see you stand among the pangas, clubs, the armadillos dying along this roadside. To see you stand with the ocean, the desert, the birthright of red cliffs. To see you stand with your brave young warriors, courageous and strong-hearted, looking so confident in battle marks coated in grief and gunmetal tears. you stand up to this epidemic of expansion and flame past books into ashes, fling stones into the mouths of computers, to see you stand on the National Bank of America like
like monumental sculpture made of stained bullets. To see you stand empty-handed, your shoulders open to the world. Each day, young blood falling on the earth. To see you stand in the armed struggle next to Mozambique, Angola, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Soweto. I tell you, Soweto, when I see you standing up like this, I think about all the forces in the world confronted by the terrifying rhythms of young students, by their sacrifices, and the revelation that it won't be long now before everything in this world changes. I saw your eyes like bumps of flint. I saw your shoes like high top boulders. I saw your hands like faces of fire. I saw your fingers like axes of shango. I saw your body like a rocker of steel. Yo. I heard a hum down there. I heard a rumble down there. I heard a ghost down there. I heard a thunderbolt expel down there. I heard an anvil in the night go uh, down there. Hey, whose meadows are shouting so loud? They must be the tapper that Ogun knows. Whose are those beads so hot and black? They must be brass for Ogun to fill. Who's that worker with corrugated gums? It must be the worker that Ogun chose. Who's that one with feet like flames? It must be the welder that's Ogun's friend. Yo, I smell a chicken in here. I smell some charcoal in here. I smell a goat in here. I smell some wax in here. I smell a dog in here. I smell some clay and some oil and some blood in here. Hey, I see your chains like links of teeth, crowbars. I see your coils like female pouches, barbed wire. I see your grills like braided snakes, fish nets. I see your ladder like a totem of pliers, crocodiles. I see your pipes like razors on tusk, wine bottles. I see your scissors and your keys on the table in there. Uh-huh. Yo, you got pad legs made into heads. You got diamond plates made into walls. You got straightening combs made into steps. You got hammerheads made into skulls. You got flat rings made into ears. Flat rings, hammerheads, straightening combs, diamond plates, pant legs, yo. I feel your flux. I feel your sander. I feel your drill bit. I feel your grinder. 
I feel your drill press. I feel your hacksaw. I feel your brick axe. I saw your windows like sheets of steel. I heard a gong down there. I saw some navels like bushes of wire. I heard a bird down there. Hey, you got lizard tongues made into tongs. I feel your balls fun. You got snake skins covered in bronze. I feel your chin marks. Lizard tongues, ball spots, snake skins, chin marks, yo! I smell some fish in here. I see a wheel down there. I smell some toes in here. I see a horn down there. I smell some funk in here. I see a knife down there. I smell some rats in here. I see a person down there. Who's that one so brown and fine? Ogun's friend. Who's that one in green on green? Ogun's friend. Who's that one who eats so fast? Ogun's friend. Who's that one with toothpaste lips? Ogun's friend. Who's that one who spits on tools? Ogun's friend. 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 Under their chin 
disguised in my mouth as a swampland. Nailed to my teeth like a rising sun. You come out in the middle of fish scales. You bleed into gourds wrapped with red ants. You syncopate the air with lungs like screams from Yazoo. Like X-rated tongues and nickel-plated fingers of a raw ghost man. You touch brown nipples into knives and somewhere stripped like a whirlwind, stripped for the shrine room. You sing to me through the side face of a black rooster. In the morning, in the morning, in the morning. All over my door like a rooster. In the morning, in the morning, in the morning. coming like 
like a two-headed twister. Let it blow, let it blow in the morning, in the morning. All swollen up like an ocean in the morning. Early in the morning, before the dew dries in the bushes in the morning. When you hear the rooster cry, cry, rooster cry. of heavy breezes blowing backward into massive loops of heat crossing two oceans after sunset. If you see an avalanche of clouds pushing forward into jet streams with syncopated thunder before sunrise. If you see a long stroke of black lightning flashing in the sky like a fast flying train on its way to Savannah at noontime. If you see a medley of slow moving currents spinning into a hum of furious tornadoes at midnight. Tell everybody, the red pepper poet, moving like the eye of a hurricane, is going home. Listen to the mud flow into its deep zodico. The high-speed drills in their tapping shoes. Storm, flash, flame, Ethiopian ash ring in this luminous hour of potassium bones with wings like a magma of hot tears flooding into mouth of the Cayenne River. Listen to the shrill evening falsettos and the filing down of teeth. Hatchet dancers carving up shadows. Knife men entering with lips of purple-plated chrome. Scar tissues opening their pigments into the 21st century. Boom! Shoot off the guns for this elder. Put your hair into the earth and fill the night with fire ants. Go ahead and show your respect for this freedom fighter, this great warrior, dangerous orphan, Ibeji among Ibeji, the red pepper poet with the bull roar tongue. Go ahead, shoulder to shoulder, exile to exile, dance for the red pepper poet who fought so well, so long, so many places, so many times in this world of so much suffering. Bonnie, 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 Won't you dance for this mean banjo player? This dignified volcano with his hat pushed to one side and his eyebrow up. Won't you dance for the red pepper poet with the bull roar tongue? Red pepper poet with the bull roar tongue. Go ahead. Move into the flow of deep zodicos, into the thrill evening falsettos and the grinding down of teeth. Go ahead, 
and decorate this ground with tobacco leaves, with seashells, with broken bottles, with tiger bomb cans, with books, with wooden daggers, with doll heads, with corn chucks, and a tall glass of scotch and soda. Let the old time rhythms roll for this great pain carrier poet who carried his pain into the forest like earth carries the Amazon River. Carried his pain like a sizzling fever carries a hidden jungle. Like the sea carries fish glue and we carry the intensity of these fragile, vaporous, magnetic words of revolt between ant hills of ice covered poverty and fire coals burning next to iron spikes on this day mixed in plantango weed, the smell of snake root, brain feathers, rusty nails in solitude of a smoky typhoon drilling backwards, and backwater lashes of hurricane sweat, triple time on silks across a Mardi Gras man, in angles and circles in green paste and verbal agua zoom! It's the agility of these popping veins, the strong knuckles of endurance, the expanding neck of unpublished flight that we push together the amber oils up, split into drops one shape, dissect the meaning of the strategy of Damas, arriving on the concourse, the odor of rum and manioc in his hair, strike up style spellbinder, you had it. And everybody loved the thickness of your accent. The ritual look of fierce crocodiles crossed in your eyes. The secret memories and sacred visions knotted in your smile. The indestructible timing of your spirit. And your natural flashing attitude. Rats up a poet with a bull roar tongue. Your dark flesh barrel house band come and blow into our ears now blow if you hear a solo wind in sandpaper socks sanding sounds of superheated stone songs against sulfurous falling cells on dry crust dogs at the pulse of the hawk scream at the moment when 50 drums hemorrhage, in the middle of the rhythms when the hurricane turns, at the yoke of the curve among dead spiders, at the end of the choice when everything drops into your mass, in that position beyond all grief, at that second, this very instant, won't you dance for the red pepper poet with the bull roar tongue? Red pepper poet with the bull roar tongue. Red pepper poet with the bull roar tongue.